allow me, my dear viewers, to regale you with the tale of a man who is both hero and villain, friend and foe, good guy and bad guy, entrepreneur, legal commentator, professional race car driver, and creepy porn lawyer. But is there more to the man than the paragraph of his Wikipedia page? Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Come with me on this journey as we slip into something more... Avenatti. No. 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 You have been warned. Let the demonetization process begin! We begin our tale at its relevant inception. No, 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 no. Inception, not conception. Damn it, post-production, Weibo. God damn it. We begin our story at its inception many moons ago on March the 6th in the year of our Lord 2018 when it became public that the adult porn actress Stormy Daniels was intent to sue President Donald Trump over discrepancy in the signatures of a non-disclosure agreement regarding a relationship of the most intimate nature between the two of them, representing her, Michael Avenatti, founder of Vegan Avenatti LLP, an attorney to the stars, with close ties to the press and the Democratic Party. But before he represented the endowed Miss Daniels, Avenatti had had dealings in much more dubious legality issues of his own making to the tune of, say, six million in federal and state tax withholdings from the paychecks of Tully's employees, and fraudulently transferred $100,000 to retain lawyers for his firm's unrelated bankruptcy. Oh, and we can't, of course, forget the 50 state and federal legal complaints against his company, including, but not limited to, commercial lawsuits, breach of lease actions, and warrants for unpaid taxes. However, despite such misgivings, our main character endeavors is accoladed by various news outlets as a rising star in media. Agencies looking for potential media powerhouses have been approaching Avenatti, looking to help him prolong his brief 15 minutes of fame to enunciate that spotlight that has found its way to Michael Avenatti. Avenatti, however, humbly declines. I'm very flattered by the outpouring of support and compliments relating to my alleged talent, but at this point, I'm far more focused and concerned about seeing this case through to completion and ensuring that justice is done than anything else. Avenatti said, there will be plenty of time for other things to focus on when and if we are successful. Make no mistake, we're going to keep our eye on the prize, truth and justice. Such a dedicated soul, don't you agree? So pure and humble, so driven and focused, the way he puts his work as a lawyer before any notion of quests for fame. In pursuit of justice, other women reach out to Avenatti about misgivings that they've had also with the president, resulting in even larger payouts. And Michael Avenatti, diligently as ever, informs the media of this new development. Perhaps prematurely. While Avenatti is pursuing justice via the justice system, the system itself, in turn, is pursuing justice against Avenatti. And by a Florida man, no less, owed $28,700, and another partner who Egan Avenatti owes about $18 million to. While this is all going down, Avenatti's opposition in the porn story that is involving our dear president, the god emperor Trump, and porn star actress D Stormy Daniels, Michael Cohen, the representation for the opposition, attempts to issue a restraining order against him because he's such a darling boy to the press, we can't have him going to the press with every little detail of this case, now can we? This Avenatti so fittingly dubbed a gag order. Fitting because this lawsuit does involve a porn star actress. And we all know what happens in porn. Simultaneously, CNN's Golden Boy seeks to aid the poor migrant families of the South that are just trying to find a better life in the United States by crossing the danger-laden U.S.-Mexican border illegally. 
And for some reason, people have got it into their heads that Avenatti is doing this, helping the people, the poor, innocent, non-American people during such trying times for the media attention of it. It brings him, and, and not for the poor migrant families themselves. By the way, don't forget, it is for pro bono that he is doing these things. We can't forget to mention that this is pro bono work. No, of course not. Why ever would Avenatti want to pursue the limelight amid a hotbed of controversial executive systemic decisions regarding a hot-button partisan issue, if not to help the poor children reunite with their families? <laughs> On a completely unrelated note, Avenatti decides then to announce to the public that he is considering a run against Trump in the 2028 presidential elections. If big, he seeks re-election, I will run, but only if I think that there is no other candidate in the race that he has a real chance at beating him. Avenatti wrote on Twitter, we can't relive 2016. I love this country, our values and our people too much to sit by while they are destroyed. What a patriot. First with the best interests of illegal immigrants and now the American people at heart. Very well, much presidential. You know what else is incredibly presidential from a strictly democratic perspective, of course, and by democratic, I mean Democrat, not democracy. Avenatti being told by the US government what he can and cannot do with his hard-earned legal collection fees because they want money from him. To be more specific, $10 million in unpaid debts and back taxes because Avenatti broke his promise that the form would meet a May deadline to pay the Internal Revenue Service $440,291 in back taxes, penalties, and interest. But that's no worry. Once Avenatti manages to completely decimate our president in the court of law, he won't have any money issues. Now will he? It's rather convenient too, as supposedly there are other Trump Cohen tapes, and he supposedly knows the substance of some of them, involving a Playboy model, Karen McDougal, and payments. Ooh, I got chills. Quote, if I'm wrong about the existence of more tapes Avenatti sat on this week, then why don't we have Mr. Trump or his attorneys come forward today, right now, and claim there are no other tapes? And remember, remember the gag order that I mentioned earlier? The one filed by Michael Cohen? Well, you can forget about it because that was flat out rejected. So now our main character doesn't have to worry about whether or not he's going to make an ass out of himself. He can talk the talkity talk to his heart's content. And thank God, too, because this man is going to be president, or at least a candidate for president, if the papers are to be believed. And that might be an issue for some. Not everyone can handle the level of intensity and fire that Avenatti wants to bring to the political stage. His strategy to out-Trump the God Emperor himself, and may God have mercy on our memes if he does choose to do so. What I fear for this Democratic Party that I love so much is that we have a tendency to bring nail clippers to a gunfight. Tonight, however, I want to suggest a different course. I believe that our party, the Democratic Party, must be a party that fights fire with fire. I believe that we can no longer be the party that turns the other cheek. We must be the party that marshals the power of law and government to strike back at those that strike our cheek and to bring those to justice. When they go low, I say, we hit harder. That's a quality take of a saying. An interesting combination of sayings, in fact. It kind of reminds me of this little golden nugget right here. You'll probably remember it. There's an old saying in Tennessee, I know it's in Texas, probably in Tennessee, that says, fool me once, shame on, shame on you. <laughs> you fool me, we can't get fooled again. <laughs> And there's a lot to hit hard about, it seems. But we're getting there. Tucker Carlson, don't you know not to bully this golden boy? How dare you address Michael Avenatti as creepy porn lawyer? That is unacceptable. Do you know nothing? You heard Avenatti. When they go low, you hit them harder. But I'm getting ahead of myself by about two months of information. I'm so sorry how silly of me prematurely blowing a big surprise for the audience, we'll get back to it later. We have a few more things to get to before we reach the climax of this video, ladies and gentlemen. Can't make it too easy for you. Now can we, not when we're discussing the creepy porn lawyer. Oh no, no, no. 
The media's darling is not one to be trifled with, not one to simply be duped. He's a smart boy, don't you know? So when 4chan users claim to have done just that to Michael in the form of fake Kavanaugh victim, we know that that is patently false, obviously. We can't trust 4chan. It lies. Lies, rumors, slander, buffoonery. Just scared little alt-writers trying to troll the interwebs, don't you know? But that's not the end of it. Oh, no, 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 no. It turns out that Avenatti might not be such the golden boy in the media after all. It's absolutely not his fault, mind you, that Brett Kavanaugh got confirmed. And how, how dare you peddle such false and ridiculously false and bogusly unfounded narratives in the press. The people who deal in such untrue nonsense for the sake of politics are scum. And just to show you how serious he is about his politics, Avenatti is not above challenging you to IRL blood sports. That's how we know he's serious, ladies and gentlemen, for charity, to be clear. And with the president's son, no less, my, my, your busy man. Guess when he says, hit him harder, he means it in the literal sense, too. Interesting. Still, not everyone is convinced, though. And again, we find our golden boy in trouble with the legal system involving his debts for the third time this year. Man, this guy cannot catch a break. He must be the most unlucky Californian lawyer to the stars I've ever met. On top of his financial troubles, he's in a bit of a pickle over the whole Julie Schwetnik debacle. We didn't mention it earlier, but... <sighs> It's over whether or not his client lied and brought some seriously false allegations against Judge Kavanaugh. You can certainly look in the description for certain articles about that, but whew, that is, huh, that was an embarrassment. But if you think that that's all the trouble one man can handle for an entire year, you are sorely mistaken, my dear. Because we have two months left in this year and we're going to squeeze out every last bit of shenanigans that we can find. So now it's November the 10th in our timeline and we're coming back to an old enemy, Tucker Carlson. Remember when Avenatti said when they go low, we hit back harder? Avenatti is representing a gay Latino immigrant. Wow, that is a lot of identifiers who claims that Carlson assaulted him in a bar. Carlson claims the guy called his daughter a whore. It's, it's a whole story, mind you, and not what we care about, however. Perhaps I'll cover it more in depth when we get more updates. You can read Tucker's statement if you like. There's a link to all of these articles in the description. We're moving on. We have one more story to get through in this video, but by no means have I covered everything that has transpired in the last year, nor have I covered everything that will happen in the coming months. Michael Avenatti arrested on suspicion of domestic violence. Whew, lad. A domestic violence report was taken on Tuesday in West Los Angeles, and the arrest was made Wednesday. We can confirm that today LAPD detectives arrested Michael Avenatti on suspicion of domestic violence. This is an ongoing investigation, and we will provide more details as they become available. Secondly, I have never struck a woman. I never will strike a woman. I have been an advocate for women's rights my entire career, and I'm going to continue to be an advocate. I am not going to be intimidated from stopping what I am doing. I am a father to two beautiful, smart daughters. I would never disrespect them by touching a woman inappropriately or striking a woman. I am looking forward to a full investigation, at which point I am confident that I will be fully exonerated. I also want to thank everyone for their support that has reached out. You know my character, you know me as a man, and I appreciate it. Thank you. Well now, I am no detective, nor am I anywhere near close to knowing any of those involved in this situation, so I obviously cannot remark on whether or not he's innocent or guilty. I will let the courts of law decide on the matter itself, although I do hope that Avenatti is exonerated of the charges. I truly do. I hope he goes on to pursue the fulfillment of his political goals and he manages to get on that level where he can run against President Trump in 2020. If this year alone of just Avenatti has been any indication, the memescape that will result from such a spectacle will create in the void of the internet something spectacular. However, before I do go, I have just one question to ask of Avenatti. 
Mr. Avenatti, if you truly believe that this allegation is an effort to uh, intimidate you by your opposition, whatever, whoever they may be, political or otherwise, then what is your strategy for hitting back harder when they go low? Now, if you like what I'm doing here, feel free to check out the links in the description to my Amazon, Patreon, and Teespring store. If you maybe don't like me that much, that's yeah, totally cool. You can always like, comment, share, and subscribe for more. Also, don't forget to hit that bell so you actually get notified when I put up content because YouTube hates me and apparently everyone else. Now, if you want to see more of me in maybe a different capacity, I do do an RPG-esque stream show every Monday night from 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Gog of Morskar's channel and a bi-weekly stream about the news with segments for advice, call-ins, fan fiction read-throughs, and so much more, Sundays and Wednesdays from 7.30 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Some Dumb Americans channel. Links to both channels in the description down below. Guess what time it is, kids? Hey, It's time for Weibo to open her mail. Okay, so first off, we got this tiny little package. We're going in order of smallest to largest. That's what she said. Hopefully I didn't stab anything important. <gasps> yes! I just got a whole bunch of these tiny little gummy peens. Look at this. Look at this. He's so cute! Now, I need to shove all my fingers into the buttholes of these penises. I have so many penises. I love this. I love it. Yes. These are the kind of penises I want you guys to send me from now on. Please and thank you. Look at that! They're jiggly! <laughs> and they're cute. They have little eyes. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you? Look at that. So glad that I picked these up after I had done all my tests for the week. Because, uh, that would have been distracting when I was trying to study. All right, next thing. Prime. What are we looking at here? Oh, shit. Someone sent me a onesie. Is this, is this one of the onesies I have? Hey, hang on. Who sent me the onesie? That would be a good question. Hang on. Who sent me the gummy peens? We don't know. We don't, we do not know. So, the onesie. Aw, thank you, Joel Lander. Hope this fits you as well as I imagine. Well, I do hope so. We shall see. We, we shall see. Ooh. 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 Yes, thank you so much. All right. Ooh, my family always taught me. Always taught me to read the card first. And I just broke in that rule out. Again, from Joe Lander. More cameras are always good. Regards, Joe Lander. So we have this lovely thing here from Joe Lander. Thank you, Joe Lander. The C920 Pro HD webcam. 1080p, 30 pr frames per second. Ooh. Everyone is your car designer. I don't know what this is, but I am intrigued. This one was a twofer. What is this? Hang on. Should read the instructions first. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right, all right. So this is one of those things that goes around your steering wheel in your car. And you sew it together. Well, good thing I know how to sew. Next package. Oh. <laughs> And I said we were gonna open these in size order, and then I lied. I uh, I apologize profusely. It's from T Public. There's no note. I love to see you win. That's what it says. There's a trophy, an eagle, and a burger. All right. This is the most American thing I own officially. Last package, and then you guys can leave. Or if you've already left, that's fine too. Nice boot pick. They should give you a nice height boost, Joe Lander. Oh no. Oh no.
Oof. That's a high heel. That is a very high heel. <laughs> Let's see if full Weibo can fit this baby. Ugh. Whoop. Don't need that. All right, let's see. Oh boy. <laughs> Hang on. I need to open up the feet. Holy shit. Ah, got him. There we go. Nice. I'll take it. I'll take 12, 800. Of course, these aren't the ideal pants to wear with such a and a tire, but you know how it is. <clears throat> and that, my friends, is the last of my packages. If you feel the need to send me uh, something akin to this or any of the other things that I've been sent in the last two weeks, which I'm having a great time with, by the way. Not gonna lie. The Australian candy's almost gone. And, um... I figured out what to do with the dildo from last week. You'll get to see that at the uh, <clears throat> the charity stream. What, what I've 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 done with the dildo. But um, if you feel the need to send me anything, in my PO box, it's in the description, right where all of the other things are. So bye everybody.